Hi guys, welcome back to Amy Place Skyrim. It's, it's kind of difficult for me to not say Amy Place Sims, but you know. So last episode we were getting our butts handed to us by Draugr in the cave for the Golden Claw. Now we are continuing on that quest and trying not to die. It's a little bit frustrating because I don't know how much longer we're going to be in this stupid cave and it's freaking me out. I don't like scary games. Um, everyone was trying to, oh, everyone was trying to convince me no, to get a scary game like Amnesia to play because apparently my reactions are just absolutely hilarious to scary games in the way that I freak out a lot and yeah the problem is um, with scary games I tend to just kind of sit there and not actually do them like I rented this is back when you could still rent games uh, I rented Resident Evil 3 for the PlayStation 2 and yeah, I couldn't get past the tutorial. I heard sounds, and I freaked out, and I couldn't even make it out of the first room. So I, not only could I not make it past the tutorial, I could not make it past the very first room that you have to leave when you start the game. I am that big of a giant wuss. It's pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> I'm also fairly competitive, so when I play, uh, my friends and I play this game called Fun Run for the smartphones. If you haven't played it, you really, really should. It's a multiplayer game, almost like Mario Kart. And except your little animals, little forest animals, and you go around and you kill each other. And there's like all sorts of power ups, there's lives, there's like saw blades that you can chuck at each other, but you can also get yourself with friendly fire. So it's really, really funny. Um, I get very, very competitive. I don't know if I've been here already or not. I don't, I don't know. Apparently not. I should go back and check out that icy cavern place. But, um, yeah. So when I play that, I tend to be violent and loud and scream and say not so nice things. And apparently it's just hilarious. So they do whatever they can to screw me over just to hear me freak out about it. I have, you know, the nicest friends. <laughs> Not really, they're, they're quite lovely. But, um, yeah. So if you guys think I overreact playing this a little bit, you, you haven't seen anything. I'm horrible. <laughs> I have like a, I don't even know what you would call it, just this complex where everything freaks me right out. You should have seen when my boyfriend and I were playing Dead Island and a zombie came out of the oven. I don't know if I've told this story or not, but it came out of the oven and they're not supposed to come out of the oven. Like, they're just not. And so to have one that just magically pops out of the oven, just about enough to make you crack your pants. So I think that last door up here where I was fighting the zombie, the Draugr or whatever, 
think this is where the chamber is that has the golden claw. I already got that chest. I hope. Because if it's just dragging me in here and leading me somewhere else. Oh, that's exactly what it's doing. Oh, I'm so happy. I love it when they just make you spend hours in a dungeon. Don't like the looks of this. Yeah. That's because you almost died last time. Eeps. Ah, 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 no, 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 no. Totally wish I had my shouts, I could just full die you. Kill your face. Come on. Come on there, skeletons. And I hit you in the kneecaps. Moi. Mwahaha. Kneecaps. What's back here? I'm really. I don't know. I'm kind of tired of this dungeon. I just want to be done. Problem is, I've seen this game played before. My boyfriend, Zavlery. Um, he has it for Xbox, but he's also starting it for PC as well, um, in his channel, uh, Zappler. You should check him out. Um, I've already seen it, so I already know what's happening in this particular dungeon. So, it's bumming me out a little. This is why I shouldn't watch people play games if I, there's any chance that I'm going to be playing them on my own. Are we here yet? Is this it? Oh. Okay. Something to do with the claw. Miscellaneous. Yes. I think it's bear, butterfly, bird. Exciting! Ooh, ominous sounds. Anybody home? That means he's walking around here somewhere, doesn't it? Wow. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm looking. Feels like something's gonna freaking pop out at me any time now. Ooh, word wall. No, no. Me? Jogger Overlord. No! Did you seriously just try to flute roll down me? Hmm. 
Not nice. Oh, duh. I wonder what that meant. I wonder what that does. I know there's one that will actually make your weapons fly away and then kind of disappear. And trust me, I heard lots about that one. And I'll just take all of it. I heard lots about that one and what an asshole move it was because your weapons, either it's a glitch or just that's what's supposed to happen, but they just don't come back. You lose them and you're left without weapons trying to fight this overlord thing. Ah. This is not the way out, is it? Oh. Ah. Yeah, should level up. Now we'll do more stamina this time. And we'll do more sneak. Cause I have a feeling I apparently can't do that. Still should get a perk or something. Let's do speech. Get better prices. You can persuade people. It's a good skill. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be a chest over here. There is one down here though. Found the word wall. Awesome stuff. So I think we'll end here in the next episode. We'll take it back and then see what other crazy adventures we get on. So thank you for watching. Have an awesome day and come back for more. Thanks guys.